recording video. Button. Hey guys, it's Nikki here from playing the blind card with Ryan, and we are coming at you in Florida. Not sunny currently, but it's supposed to be. Um, today we are going to do a part three of um phone tutorials. This one, I guess we're not really using Siri, are we? Not for this now. This would technically just be using manual labor, meaning your thumb, and voiceover. And Ryan's phone, his home screen, is completely overloaded with crap. So I am going to be a very sweet girlfriend and clean it up for him by making folders and getting stuff all organized. Because um, I have more patience than him. <laughs> um, this isn't hard to do, even though you can't see. It just takes patience and um, the ability to not throw the phone when you get frustrated because you will screw up. It's inevitable, no matter how good at it you become. Um, we did it with his iPod earlier, and it went pretty good until the end, and then everything went awry. So we're hoping that this will not happen today. Well, now, because it was earlier. Anyway. So. <laughs> well, all you have to do to make the folders is you select your two items or three or four, but you obviously no. you start with two that you want to put in to a folder, and you slide it until they're on top of one another, and it will create and hold it. Yeah, and you hold it, and it'll tell you creating folder. And keep holding it because you hear it go ding ding or whatever noise it makes, and then it'll say like, for instance, if you do like Facebook and Twitter, it would add, it would make a social folder, and it'll say creating social folder. Um, if you put something on top of it, like App Store and iTunes, it'll say something like creating lifestyle folder. And then if you just swipe to the right, it'll give you a clear text option. And you do that. And then you can either type or dictate a new folder title and make it whatever you want. In that case, you could call it Apple or you can call it Bob. I mean, it doesn't matter. You call it whatever you want. But, um, and then you can move the folders at however you want those as well if necessary. But for the purpose of this video, I am just going to create and move things into folders for him to clean up his home screen. So let's see what we got. Messages. So on his, his we have messages, social media, folder. social media folder. See, he already has one with apps in it. Pandora. And of course we have Pandora. Turn your volume up. Settings. Um, we have settings, sports folder. Sports folder. See, he's already got that one. Weather. Weather. You already have a bunch of folders. Yeah, there's still a bunch of stuff on the second Second screen. Dropbox. Calendar. Navigation. Reminders. TV folders. Okay. So what types of folders would you like, Mr. Ryan? I want to put, um, you know, like Cam Find or uh, you know iTunes and App Store in one, which they should be. Okay. Music. And I'm guessing like maybe music and Pandora and stuff. Yeah, music and Pandora can go together. Okay, so let's see if it's kind of hard when something is all the way at the top, and then the other thing you want to move it with is all the way at the bottom. So sometimes the best way to do that is to just move it down to the bottom or to the top, whichever you prefer, and then proceed with the second step of making the folder, because um, otherwise it just gets a little wonky. But let's see if we can make this work. So in order to select it, you need to double tap as usual, but then do not lift up your thumb. Keep holding it and it will say, you wait till it says moving, in this case Pandora, and then you can move it to a different location. And if you move it to an empty spot, it'll say something like row one of three. Or if you go on top of an app, it'll say, like, ideally this is going to say on top of music. And then if you hold it there for a second, it should say create folder with music. So let's see. Pandora. Moving Pandora on Apple folder, on, on games folder, on, on music. In dock, position four. Hey, see, see, in dock, little tricky. In dock, position four, icon approaching order. Ah. Position three, okay. Okay. music. Okay, so Pandora. I'm is moving it editing. down there because that's easier. Safari, music, is editing. Where Safari, did it go? Mail. Is editing, phone, is editing. Okay, I thought it moved down there. <laughs> Sports folder. Where did it go? Okay, so Ryan, let's talk about what I'm doing. <laughs> She's trying to find Pandora, which she just found. 
Okay. Now let's try this again. Icon approaching order. On music. In dock. Position four. See, I did it again. In dock. Position four. In dock. Position four. Calendar. Is editing. Thursday. Okay, Check. we're not Out doing box. that anymore. Is editing. Reminders. Is editing. How about we put calendars and reminders in the same spot? All right. Calendar. Is editing. Thursday, January 30th. Moving calendar. On Dropbox. On Apple folder. Opening Apple. On oh. Apple folder. Row two. Okay. Column two. On settings. Off settings. Row one. I. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Well, it just goes to show you. I mean, it's not the easiest thing, but if you... I usually do this much better. Okay, so here. This one, these are a little easier because they're right next to each other for this purpose. We will show you how to put Baya, which is a really cool app we will talk about in another video. It is for blind people to tell you about all the accessible apps for not just blind, but for low vision people um, that are out there on the iPhone. I'm not sure if that is an Android app as well. I guess you'd have to look if you're yeah, an Android really user. Know. Although, if you're an Android user, I don't know why you'd be watching an iPhone tutorial video anyway, but that's another story. So, anyway, let's try this. So, I just put it in your TV folder. Right? Okay. Um. Hmm. So what do you want me to do now? I'd put reminders and calendar together. Okay. So we will be doing that, hopefully. Gotta find it. Where'd it go? Oh! No! Oh! I just see that happens. It just went into the Apple folder, which we do not want. So we're going to open up the Apple folder while it's still in the editing mode. And again, you just select it, wait for it to say moving. And then sometimes it won't go out, so you have to do it again. Okay. As you can see, it says hold for five seconds. So you just sit there. It's not going to tell you when. So then you just let go and it's out and it closes the folder for you. Page one of two. Adjustable. Mail. Um. Is Navigation folder. Is TV folder. Audible. Is Games folder. Is Apple folder. Is folder. So now. Where's all your stuff? There it is. But where's reminders? See, this is an occupational hazard of doing this blind because then you have to sit there and have a scavenger hunt. There it is. But. It's again all the way down there, and that makes it hard to find it. So we're gonna move calendar. Oh, oh, oh! Eek! <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. I was doing so much better earlier. Okay, but see, I have successfully moved it next to each other. So. <laughs> Why did? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> Where did calendar go, honey? Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, so there's some nice there. Perfect. Okay. Take 332. And just so you know, yelling profanities at your phone at this point will not help. It may make you feel better. I promise you, though, it will not help the process. Reminders. Is it calendar? Is it Thursday, January 30th. Moving calendar on reminders. We'll create folder with reminders. Creating productivity folder. There you go. Folder. Did it do it? Yep. Whoop, whoop. It created a pro productivity folder. And again, you can change. You can change the title if you want. I personally like productivity. Yeah, which doesn't bother me. So we're going to leave it. And then. Productivity. And then if you want out of that, you just got to hit the home button once. It takes away editing mode. So then you just hit it again. Apple and Tabs. it closed the folder and you're back at your home screen. Um, should we do more or should we just quit this debacle? Well, like I said, it's one of those things. I mean, you have to have patience like you do with anything. You have to do it multiple times. And chances are you will screw up, but it's easy to undo. Just have patience, and sometimes it'll do really quick. Like today, we did it with his iPod, and what did we do? Like 
five oh. apps back to back with yeah. no problem. And then all of a sudden, what you just heard started happening. So again, you just gotta have patience and and you have to be careful with how fast you move your finger because you mm -hmm. can move a bunch of stuff. Don't get twitchy. Yeah, if you get twitchy, it's bad. But again, it's just play with it and kind of see how it goes. So for more blindy blunder type tutorials, please subscribe to the video and be sure to hit the like button. Thank you. And as always, look before you leap.